So one of the things that I always love, and it, it's been a huge practice, is labeling these things. And this is all for uh, eliminating variables. You want to label the A HMI with the A head cable to the A ballast. That way you immediately can eliminate any kind of variables. If the light doesn't strike, then you know, okay, let's try the head cable. Let's then swap out the head. Okay, let's try the ballast. So these are the kind of things that you do and label prior to even uh, bringing your HMIs out. It's always great to be able to label this stuff. It just increases efficiency. So, okay, so we'll bring one up. We're gonna bring one up to speed. We're gonna wait maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure that uh, if you have 18K ears or ears in front of your 20K, that they're not in front of the unit while you're striking, warming up. Uh, and then you want to make sure if you uh, have gels or anything that you're working with heat shield and things like that to protect the gels. So we'll wait just a little bit longer. All right, let's go ahead and strike up unit B. And maybe we, uh, do you want to take a look back at the generator and check out the amperages of yeah, what we're Yeah, let's start looking right at this. So we've struck two units now, two HMIs, 18Ks. One is on the red-blue leg, the other one is on the blue-black leg. So at the current moment, our red and our black legs are going to be down because we don't have enough lights on to balance everything out. So you can see here, there's already a jump here between these two. That's going to come up because this one is up to, is coming up to temp, right? Yeah. So as an HMI comes up to temp, it strikes hotter, burns more uh, amperage, and then it idles down just as, as it's coming up to Let's temp. Let's have somebody at the 20K. So now we really want to get these levels back to even. So we're going to want to do, to start to dim up our 20K that we have on a dimmer. All right, go ahead and bring that up and uh, make sure you do it slowly, please. And this is going to help balance out the load between the three different legs here. So reset the breaker, do it slower. Reset the breaker on the Not side. bad. So now we're that. going from, uh, yeah, we're looking very balanced Yeah, now. we're pretty much balanced. We have all of our legs, our three legs, have two inputs that are pretty much equal in amperage. So we're getting two legs of blue, two legs of uh, black, two legs of red. So we're getting that even amperage because we have two 18Ks and we have one 20K, which are all about the same in terms of power distribution. So this is how you, this is where you want to be, where you have a nice, uh, very close proximity in numbers. But there's sometimes where there's always times when I want to add a backlight. So let's fire up that 18K to give us a nice backlight. Go ahead and fire that 18K up. So between Greg and myself and the electrics, we've already communicated what legs we're going to put on for what units. So when you get to set, you're gonna to have to figure that out. So as you, as Shane calls for a light, we're gonna to have to have somebody that knows where the amperage is on the generator and will tell uh, an, the electric what legs to plug it into. So. So right now we have this, uh, this light plugged into the blue and the red legs. So because it was perfectly balanced, now we've thrown it out of balance. So we have at the amperage going up on the blue leg and the red leg. So now you would need to do something, you would need to add a, a ghost load, basically a light that would increase the amperage that we wouldn't necessarily use on set. Uh, but we would just we would need to dim it up and activate it so that we can bring our generator back to an equilibrium Yeah, when I was a gaffer I would always have like 12 light maxis or 9 light maxi brutes on standby just for this Let's get somebody uh, cause to be maxi brute, that you're please. able to have a maxi brute very close to the generator and then if you needed to balance the load quickly uh, you could flip it on and uh, on the right. So we want to put that on the black leg, correct? We do. Yep. And you can see we have it on the black leg. Okay. So let's go ahead and start to dim up on that maxi brute. So now he's dimmed up on that maxi brute. Let's keep going. Keep going. Hold there. 
little and more. Let's a little more. What's our level right there? That's full. Okay, look at that. My God, you're good, Tom. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like we've done this before. Exactly. So, so yeah, now again we've we've created uh, balance from an imbalance. So you want to have some units available if you know that if you know you want three phase power and you know you want to use big HMIs, maybe one or two, and you and you have to use three phase power. You want to have units that you can offset and rebalance the generator.